Shri Shri Prima Bhakti Chandrika, continuing verse 20. In this way, the independent and unsubmissive enemies and the senses have been dancing within the consciousness of the conditioned soul. Shri Prima Bhakti Chandrika. In Gita Shastra 3.42-43, the Lord has told Sri Arjuna, O oh Arjuna, it is said that the senses are higher than the body, the mind is higher than the senses. The intelligence is higher than the mind and the soul is even higher than the intelligence. O oh, mighty armed one, knowing thus that the soul exceeds the intelligence Ascertain yourself through yourself. <coughs> so the soul is the purest and the highest because the soul is such ananda, is full of knowledge, full of bliss, and full of eternity. So the soul is above all the intelligence, the mind, and the senses. We can say it's all material because our subtle body is also material. So when we are leaving this world, we leave everything behind, the material body and the subtle body and the mind and our so-called intelligence. Mm -hmm. Because of that, it is all. The soul is mm -hmm. all above all that. I can add to this. From some point of view, it's true what so full of knowledge, so of full of eternity, so so of full of Nananda. But because this soul was born in Tatasta Shakti, Tatasta Shakti is minute Shakti. <coughs> this means these three qualities of absolute truth or original Shakti, Purna Shakti. Purna Shakti means complete Shakti. These three qualities in minute form. This means <coughs> so <coughs> have little bit sad, little bit chit, little bit ananda. What does mean sad? Sad giving form. Ananda also little. It's written by Bhaktan Thakur. The ananda in form of Brahmananda. I am spirit. Uh, I have feelings of blissful due to I am spirit. But this soul doesn't know what she is. Uh, someone with re relationship in abs with uh, God. Due to this, no premananda. It means not complete ananda. Yes, because we are equal in quality with the Lord, <coughs> but not in quantity. Not in quantity. That is what he means. We have all these qualities, but in a limited degree. And due to this, the natural tendency to find the completeness coming. It's called mm -hmm. faith. Faith is always searching for the completeness. Once Narayan Goswami Maharaj asked his disciple on the bank of uh, sea in Jagannathapuri, why this small, I don't know how it's called, crabs, 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 yeah, crabs. going to the sea? Little because it's uh, his home there, or oh, it's home there. It was because it's because he is small, yeah. the sea is big. Small ah, yeah. always trying to take shelter of the big. Ah, yeah. It's a natural yeah. natural tendency. Yes. Because our nature, such chitananda, not complete. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We want to find our completeness yeah. in absolute truth, in in God. Mm -hmm. ah. mm -hmm. It's always we search always unconsciousness or consciousness. So this deep desire is is already yeah. implanted in always. <laughs> and doing it together also. We are not doing it alone. We are doing it together. Like the crabs, they are so, all together. 
<laughs> it's <laughs> it's called gravitation. The force of gravitation. <laughs> Like in the spiritual world, we are also together serving yeah, yeah. or together preparing our Swamini so that yeah. she can meet her Krishna. This is a yeah. competition like Sankirtan, Sangha, Kirtan. We are doing this together. Yeah. So then it's more powerful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's <clears throat> also see he's interesting uh, what their intelligence higher than mine. Mm. It must be like this, but not always like this. Uh, <coughs> you know why? Because with your intelligence you can uh, guide your mind. Yeah. So when the mind is diverting with your intelligence, you bring the mind back and focusing. I think this is because of that. Yeah. Written like this. Yes. Um, if devotee are not received enough experience of Ananda in Bhajan, <clears throat> the intelligent have that power to give evidence to the mind what we, what yeah. the direction what he chose mm. actually is blissful direction. Mm. The mind will tell under influence of all ego, no no no. Just There is more <laughs> happiness. <Yeah. coughs> yes. You see this beautiful form? This is for your enjoyment. And then you let drown you away mm. when your intelligence is not so fixed or when you don't have the taste in bhajan, as you said. And... Uh, mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> no, take your time. We love you. Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita. Picture. Uh, yeah. If you take Bhagavad Gita, the yeah. uh, front, front, front picture. Arjuna and as a cart. Yeah. Arjuna as a uh, passenger mm -hmm. of this cart, and Krishna is taking, uh, has a rule in this cart. <coughs> it has also a symbolic meaning. Means body like this cart, it has five senses. Mm -hmm. Uh, like horses. Yeah, the horse. It's inside. It's in Bhagavad Gita it's, itself. We can find this yeah, picture. Yeah, it's beautiful. And uh, the passenger is so, <coughs> and the uh, Krishna is a, that person who is guiding, yeah, uh, yeah. ruling this uh, cart. This means if if I will uh, fall just my intelligence, yeah. it's blind mm -hmm. intelligence, but. Uh, it's here, it's written, intelligence must come through the bhajan. Mm -hmm. With bhajan, then it's possible to rule car in proper direction. <coughs> because you have like a higher taste. Mm -hmm. When I don't have this higher taste. I just continue doing and doing. Then and you praying. listen to the mind who is telling you this yeah. is the higher taste. Let's do some sense enjoyment yeah. and you will and, be happy. And really how to do it is practically, you know. When this happens, you just focus again or you, you look on a beautiful Radha Krishna picture. Or yes, or you remember your, your taste that you have in bhajan. Mm -hmm as a soul, in a soul consciousness. What I experience here. What you experience time. here. And then you will feel what the other things I have experienced this so many times and it <coughs> didn't give me that satisfaction. It's no long-term satisfaction. It's only for the moment, it's maybe okay, but then again you are disturbed. Mm. in your mind and with this then you can say okay but you can tell the mind also okay okay maybe later but now i want to do this i see you and i respect you but now i'm now doing i want to do yeah. this 
This is like in Mana Shiksha, mm-hmm. our prayers to the mind. Gurudev recommended this um, three years ago, two and a half years ago to me. Yeah. I should read it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you have it in the bookshop. <laughs> yeah. You should take one copy. Yeah, he said this to me. It's very nice. Because, yeah. So we can learn how to handle it with the mind. Mm. So we have to make our mind uh, our friend. Yeah. It's not our enemy. Yeah. We want to make him our Peaceful. friend. Yeah. As Gurudev also explained that I helped you so many lifetimes. Yeah. Oh, Gurudev explained to you? Oh, yeah, in general. In general, oh, in, general, in, general. Class in class also. Okay. I helped you well, so many lifetimes. Now to do what you wanted, but please now help me in my bhajan, so that I can fix more. So, the prayers in Manashiksha are, Oh my dear mind, Oh my friend, I'm praying to your lotus feet, please help me in my bhajan. I do this before I start chanting, you know, that I recite this. Yes, it's good, nice meditation. So. Yeah. And then you become more peaceful. Yeah. Once also remember that Kuruda said uh, uh, maybe it is not the directory that doesn't answer your question, but somehow there is some connection. Said that, uh, because somebody was asking Uh, what to chant more, Hare uh, Krishna Mantra or uh, Diksha Mantra? And Gurudev answered, uh, whatever makes you feel more. Mm-hmm. So, whatever helps you to develop feelings, that should be done. Mm-hmm. Starting with this, so okay. also. What um, all the things that before said um, Pranavala, but also when you are inspired, when you are a little feeling for some seva, for, for some mantra, practice this more and let feelings develop from this point. I, I, it impressed me very much yeah. because it didn't. Yeah, now you should change. Он не дал такого схем... more схематичного застывшего. Только так. Mm-hmm. He said that in the beginning it was uh, years ago it was chanting more the shamanta, but now it's chanting more. Guru Dev. Yes. Mm-hmm. <coughs> no, sweet. Thank you. I can feel also the taste is coming with the practice. It's mm-hmm. practical. Because the mind is always rebelling a little bit. So when we are chanting, me, I experience this every day when I start to chant my first round. Then the mind is like, you wake up from sleeping and it's a little... And then you try to concentrate and more and more and then the taste is coming. It's true. I'm so this. Same, same experience. Uh, the, in the beginning, mind is how you like resisted, resisted, and <laughs> no test so much. But during practice, test is coming. Uh, then the taste is coming. So. Thank you, Rajon. Honestly, showing me. We tell also when the mind becomes too wild to remember the explanation of Guru Deva Bhavna Mantra and I try to imagine how Radha embraced Krishna, how Krishna embraced Radha, how each other embraced very tightly and how they call, uh, why don't you come? Yeah. Yesterday in Japanese class we were sharing this and Sumiti told this again and this was the first time I really had the picture and I need these pictures. And this can, like, uh, we said hallmark, no, from days ago, like, something, like an impression in my heart. Mm. 
is more merciful than Nami. This means the name is more merciful than the named. So you can pray also to Harinam that uh, during your meditation and during your chanting it is revealing to you that what you are meditating within your mind. It's like a relationship. It reciprocates with you in the way how you approach the Holy Name. Mm. It's like when we have a relationship, you reciprocate also in the way that you are approached from someone. So the more you can open your heart and the more love you can give, the more Change, loving exchange. Mm. 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 From Krishna, and it's all complete, all qualities, all abilities are complete within the holy name. So the more we are chanting, the more taste is coming. So for that you can chant and chant and chant for years and years and years. And even more and more bliss is coming, more realizations you make, you can make, and the more it's also revealing mm. this whole world, this whole spiritual world. Um, 3.42 to 43. The Lord has told Sri Arjuna, O oh Arjuna, it is said that the senses are higher than the body. The mind is higher than the senses. <coughs> the intelligence is higher than the mind. And the soul is even higher than the intelligence. O mighty aunt one, knowing thus that the soul exceeds the intelligence, ascertain yourself through yourself. Ascertain yourself through yourself. In other words, realize that you are Krishna's eternal servant and that your body and your senses are simply illusory designation. Illusory designation means that all this have nothing to do with our true self. We identify, but it's not our self. Yeah. But we identify. <laughs> Means material abima, material thinking. I am born, I am man, I am working for such and such company, I was born such and such family, you know, I have such and such qualification and license. It's all, all illusory. Our abima, our ya, da 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 si, or you know, that is the real one. The real identification with the soul. So the whole world in one book, Shyananta Das Bhavanchi mentions that the material world is worthless. Worthless. 
Worthless. Worthless. The material world. Work. Worth. 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 Okay. okay. Less. Okay. Is without any value mm -hmm. because it is temporary. Mm -hmm. At the end of the Kali Yuga, everything will be destroyed and goes back within Mahavishnu if the whole creation comes back again. So, from the spiritual point of view, it has no value. Um, yes, it's one, it's one angle of vision. It's one aspect, yes, of course. Well, it's really because it's really for Rabbi Krishna to the mouth of the name. Uh, revealing here in some past time was which is not in Galoka Vrindavan. For them, it's really high value. <laughs> of course. But uh, in this context, what we are in, yes, it's true. But in the context, I think for identifying with the body and yeah. the circumstances and country and all these things, yes, yes, yes. it is. <clears throat> It's true. For through the eternal soul, it's so much painful always be in temporary condition. Mm. It's true. Everything for what what soul is attached, place or bro, where's a uh, person's growing, uh, parents, everyone whom attached, everything will be destroyed by time. Everything will disappear. It's so much painful for the soul. What is why he's still in like this? Because it's natural to, uh, to the soul have attachment. But now attachment to the riches will be not eternal. Mm -hmm. what, what is why he's telling for the soul it's worthless. Yes. Thus, you can conquer this indomitable enemy called lust. Such are the teachings of the scriptures and the great teachers. The living entity is Krishna's eternal servant, whose only duty is it is to serve Krishna. The body and its belongings and relatives are the gift of Maya that have nothing to do with the real identity of the soul. It's the gift of Maya. I think this is because of our desire to come to this material world and to play God by ourselves. Yeah. So then, this is the gift of Maya, who gives us the opportunity. So, it is that by desire we came to this material world, and by desire we can leave this material world. So it is depending on our desire. This is not forced by someone else. We have to truly desire this, what we want. This is our so-called free choice that we have. We can always make our choices. Yeah. And all these things that we are reading who are in the scriptures are all recommendations how we can come out of this material world. But each and every one of us has to do it by him or herself. Some has to have this desire what we want and what we don't want. What do you think, Maharaj? Hmm? You know, interesting. <coughs> so, <coughs> two kinds of Maya. Everybody knows. <coughs> yoga Maya, uh, Mahamaya and Yoga Maya. <coughs> and uh, Mahamaya <coughs> is kind of governed by Durga Devi. <coughs> and Yoga Maya is, <coughs> you know, some some people say like, like uh, Purnamashi or you know, but uh, actually Radhika no, is in China. Radhika. So Durga Devi is it's Lord is someone who has ego. Uh, uh, Lord is like uh, you know like kind of yoga Durga, Maya is Durga kind Devi. of work. No, sorry, Mahamaya Durga, Durga Devi is work, 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 work. <laughs> work is like this. 
Okay. If some condition ho- soul has, has independent desire, means material desire for sense gratification or false ego, that should remain, keep this material world. And then someone who surrender to Krishna or Radha Mohan, that surrender soul, Mahamaya, sometimes help soul to Of course, you know, some test also same time happening. But he really surrender. Durga Devi was kind of you know, helping to the condition. And then in charge is from Durga Devi to to you know Yoga Maya. Hmm. It's made in charge of like kind of this is a nice example and then came to when Kamsa wants to kill this girl. This girl was actually Yoga Maya. But then he touched her, trying to touch. In this moment she turned to Durga Devi. Well, it's a very nice example. So therefore, you know, this kind of, say, Durga and, say, you know, Yoga Maya Devi is a different explanation, but say, Durga and, uh, say, I say in short, mm-hmm. Radharani, mm-hmm. it's kind of coins, I say. Two sides of the coin. Two sides of the coin. It depends on our consciousness. If our consciousness goes to spiritual thing, means surrender to the Radha Mohan, or surrender to our false ego. This coin is like, like this. <laughs> this is marginal. Sometimes we are in the material, yes. and sometimes we are in the spiritual. Yes. So, and then, even we are, we, we try to become devotee, but still sometimes we are kind of, sometimes like that. It's, it's called Sanchari. Sanchari. You know, sometimes this side, okay, no, no, this side, you know, okay, no, this side, like, you know, kind of. This is a good day to say Sanchari. Okay. But if we fix, then move, then, then uh, Durga Devi say, oh, you are now fixed, you can, you can go. So that means the goal has to be fixed. Mm. This is one devotee once gave an example in the circus. You have this uh, dancer on the string, very high. They are on one string and they walk on this string with the balance. And they have to fix very much the goal so that they can reach the goal. But if they looking a little bit here and here, or they deviate, then they immediately fall down. Like Prabhupada also mentioned, we are like kind of walking like kind of edge. If a little bit careful, we fell down. <laughs> and also same time, Bhagatam said different story also. If we surrender to the Krishna, then even we are blind, we close the eye, never fell down. Something, you know, this kind of thing also there. Because, why that? Because kind of protection of Fradini Shakti, protection of Yoga Maya, if we really surrender. But uh, if we are not surrender, then <coughs> Sanchari nature is sometimes, you know, sometimes fell down, then again, okay, again fell down, okay, again try, again for, then like kind of, <laughs> then slowly, slowly we <laughs> learn, you know, yeah, yeah. then we learn, oh my God, you know, this is very dangerous, oh, I waste of time, then slowly, slowly we, we are more fixed. The most important thing I think is that we remain in our bhajan, no matter what happens. Or remain association with yeah. the devotee. Yeah. I think that is most important. <laughs> because you know, in this material, it's a very dangerous <laughs> world. <laughs> but if we stick to <laughs> the association with the devotee, <laughs> stick <laughs> the of Guru Dev's mercy, <laughs> then even though we may a little bit, you know, deviation, but <laughs> come back. Yeah. 
Then we are protected. But if we leave association with devotee, leave the protection of Guru Dev, that is very dangerous. Yes. Then many other things are coming in the mind and we are going away. Rade, rade. Rade, rade. Then we have to surrender our false ego. Um, so how are you? Better? Better. Better. Yeah, but as soon as they take some cold, cough starts again. Yeah, but slowly, slowly now getting warmer. Yeah. So you'll be more fine. Just sitting in the sun. <laughs> May I uh, do a question? Yes. Because uh, <coughs> before we were uh, speaking about design, this, we at uh, in that it is our uh, choose uh, decide where to go. <coughs> Sometimes I mm-hmm. heard the word that was say, uh, says that. Uh, uh, Desires also depends on our past Sukriti. If we have not enough Sukriti, we cannot have a desire. So in certain case, disparate case, might be my case, we, the only thing is just pray for mercy. Because Guru can give desire also. But sometimes we cannot attend. What do you think? Actually, true. <coughs> According to our sanskara, <coughs> or previous karma, <coughs> or previous offense, <coughs> it, it affects in this lifetime. <coughs> also, Guru Dev's mass is there. But the problem is problem is we have better pattern. We have better but sometimes hole there. Sometimes hole inside the hole. Ah hole, hole, okay. And then leaking the mass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we cannot hold it. Mass is coming but uh, So, and then we have to fix this fold. Then, what is this fold? This this kind of hole is uh, our material desire and also like a Discreetly, our offense. <laughs> and I think also the tendency that we want to be independent. <laughs> this everything comes from false ego, false identity, and desire also. And uh, I was talking with Guru Dev. And then, and so I face problem. <laughs> and then Guru Dev give me so much instructions, advice. And then, one day Guru Dev told me, I got to answer from Radharani. And then Radha said to Guru Dev, whatever happens is happening. Whatever is happening is happening. I don't know due to karma or due to the mercy. Whatever happening is happening. Like as we don't know why become disease, why become sick. Sometimes we know, sometimes we don't know. Well, my wife died. 
I don't know why. У меня жена умерла, не знаю почему. But happening is happening. Это произошло. Our idea is just to accept. Наш пол можно лишь принять. At the mercy of the Lord. Yes, because we cannot change it anyway. We cannot change, and we cannot blame anyone. So therefore, and then Guru Dev told me, you know, and Jayananda, whatever happening is happening. The Radha Nai said, "Don't bother." Не беспокойтесь об этом. Это то, что я сказал раньше. Сегодня это то, что Гурдев читал про Манда Злобича Марадж. В Вриндаве. Все, что было сказано, что это Радика Сраси. Гурдев читал Ананта Дас Бабаджи и его комментарий на Шивилап Кусаманджане. What's happening in Vrindavan with devotees? It's all Shimati Radhika's mercy. Just relax and accept. Jai. Jai. So, and then I hear with such explanation, it depends on my choice. I'm like this. When I'm here, what Gurudev told me, he received from Shimati Radhika, I have hope because I know there is sweet will for me. So therefore, don't bother. Yeah. And live now. And live now. Whatever we can do, do it. So, because if we thinking about the situation, may not change. Just accept as mercy and just surrendering. The whatever I could do, we do it. Try to fix our mind to the Radha Mohan Lotus. And this, this idea, what is coming from the high will, sweet will, is this fixing us on this sweet will. Means yes. on the material. Otherwise, I feel think I will think I am doer. I am independent. Yes, it's depending on my choice what I will choose. And we can be much more relaxed. Yes, if we are giving and depending on their mercy, then we don't have to bother. Guru Dev said, if you are living in the divine, you don't have to bother about anything. Because everything is... Actually, it's very simple, but our mind is very complicated. <laughs> if Krishna want to be, want to us to be illusioned, then we are the illusion. I we heard, cannot escape. I, I heard, <laughs> then, but, then I just came to here and explained to Gordon explained to us here. He was sitting there and he told, you know, Krishna is very bad. No, Krishna is very sweet and good, but it was mood, his mood. He created this world, he created this illusion, he put me in this illusion. <laughs> you know, we are thinking we are intelligent, but if Krishna wants to cover our intelligence, we are covered. We don't know this is Mahamaya or Yoga Maya, but we are covered. We cannot escape. Because he can do whatever he likes. Yeah. So then, okay. Whatever you can do, you do it. I, I just a puppet. Whatever you can do, you can do it. If you want to give me suffering, do it. I accept it. I deserve it. Whatever you like. This Radharani also feeling Shikshashtaka. You can embrace. Yeah, embrace, or you can, you know, ignore. But you are my master. Eternal master. So then I start saying, oh, actually, we are very, very insignificant. I think Krishna, he don't want to make us suffer because he loves us. 
いやでも昔ね欲してたいやだけど、サーファリングでカインドブティーチフォーリンクリーサーウォーロー。いや。いつもとおてなりサーファリングやな。Father want to son or daughter some lesson. Then child and children realize, oh, I have to learn. Oh, this is wrong. This is also the verse Apiche Sudrachar. If devotee may do something very abominable thing, but if you are fixing, my, you know, fixing your mind at the lotus feet, then you are sad. You are? Sad. So that means it is not, not up to us to criticize anyone. No. Because we don't know what is all behind and why and what. And I have an interesting example in my life. I met one devotee in a school, in the same Brahmacharya shop. I d o e s n t like him at all because he was very gross. His behavior to me was not good at all.、Mm. After a few years, he came to our g a u d i m a t Center in Moscow.、Mm. He was completely different. His eyes w a s clear, soft, his kindness. He was a completely different person. I couldn't re- believe it. <laughs> he was so changed before he was completely different. It's what we thought. We don't know. We don't know what, what will be, what's behind of all this situation. So, before you came, Pranabhadabhadi, you came, we are reading Shikshashtaka. And it mentions sometimes people think devotee who behave nicely, acting properly, that is devotee. You know, We are thinking devotee means who acts nicely, properly. That is devotee. Sometimes we're thinking, oh, this devotee is ill behaved, doing so much nonsense, that he is not devotee. We are thinking like this. But actually, no. Anyone who w o r s h i p s Supreme Lord, p o l h a r t l y even he is behave, ill behaved, do so much nonsense, still he is devoted. Therefore, Ananda Das Baba said, We should not say anything bad to anyone. If we do, this is offense. Yeah, we read about this. Yeah, we have read it. Shikshashtaka. So, therefore, at least you know, I don't want to say anything bad thing to any devotee. I try to be. <coughs> One Vaishnava wrote、uh, the song to Vaishnavas. He is telling, I'm offering my Uh, pronouns to all devotees of Raja. And, like he's, and, and in a particular moment, he is telling, I offer my dandavats or pronouns to devotees who is living anywhere in any place of the world. And then he is telling, in any time, in past, present, or in future. Now I can maybe not devotee, but in future will become devotee. I'm offering the, the, my dandavats. Sometimes Kaviraj Gosami is saying, Kaviraj Gosami is saying, He is paying obeisance to future devotees. s o m e t h i n g we don't understand. What do you mean? Yeah. 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 So, therefore, you know, we are thinking material calculation. Oh, he came just now. He is new. He is new. I experience more than a few years. I'm 30 years, 40 years, you know. He's very young. But we don't know. Yeah, yeah. He is not the same as Shri Prabhupada. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
us, me, because we don't know who they are, who anyone is, maybe due from his Sukriti, from his past life, he may seem new, but then he comes and he makes very uh, rapid progress and surpass so far. Then I must say, now I'm the new man. <laughs> and not he's the new man. <laughs> you know, like uh, yesterday was Shuri Priya. Shuri Priya is appearance, no appearance day, birthday. But we don't know who is Shuri Priya. Yes. yes. You know, she may be very great devotee. Uh-huh. Past life. No, she's Radha Dasi. No, she's Radha Dasi, you know. Oh my God. So because we should take in consideration that she is born here, mm-hmm. for example. Yeah. Yeah. And we are born somewhere in the West. So it is much more higher to take the birth in Vrindavan than all those who took birth in the West. Yes, but, but still external behavior, age is there, you know, she has to, ex, you know, age. Of course, you know, she's a so small girl. Small girl, so therefore, you know, even though we are very low, but uh, Material calculation, we, we have kind of position to give some kind of blessing. You know, one bridge passing, one time said, you can chant millions of rounds and you will never attain the level of a bridge passing. So to say that this is very different birth, different <coughs> position <coughs> of existence. He said it in a loving way, <coughs> little jokingly, you know. Yeah, but once it's true, but you know. It is true, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, you know, someone said, Brajavasi also different to kind of Brajavasi. Eternal Brajavasi was someone who stay just in Braja. Because you know, <coughs> sometimes I had many Dikshawara came from all over the India, especially Kartik time, to earn money. <laughs> So, he may, we may say he's also Brajavasi. Stay a few months or a few years. They're also Brajavasi. That one who said this to me is a Brajavasi from Radhakund and it is from generation and generation and generation from I don't know when. Always staying in Radhakund. <laughs> and some devotees are like this. <laughs> One brother <Brajabhi> told <laughs> I don't know correct. <laughs> there is Brajabasi <laughs> and Brajajana. <laughs> what is Brajajana? Brajavasi means someone who is who is in Vrindavan. A resident of Vrindavan. 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 Brajajana is Brajas people. One devotee said, one, one Brajavasi who lives in Kusum Sarva. Brajana. Brajana. Brajanab, I think. Brajanab, uh, Brajanab, Krishna's great grandson. Yeah, to his Nuka Krishna. He came Braja. Brajanab. On Pribus, the At that time, Posse uh, Hoda Krishna. He established many deity, including you know, Madana Mohan, Gopinaji, Gopinata Ji, and uh, as a devote, uh, as a as a deity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> At that time, he was appointed, I think, five, five family members. I forget the number, but one is Kusum Sarovara. 
ワンオアって、アイドンのアイフォーグッド、アトリストワンイズラーダクンだ。アンラコスンサロウエンド、カップルオブファミリーズブリンダーバン。パールオブシネーブブリンダーバン。They called b r a j a j a n a Still, the some family still means 5,000 back, 5,000 years back. Yes. Still, they are continuing this.、Yes. So, we don't know who they are. So, we don't know who they are. And Gurudev said, we have always to respect the r a j a v a s i Yes, that's s a f e That is very important. So, externally, they may do many things, but we don't know who they are. And who are we to criticize anyone? And it can be the rickshaw driver. Be yes, anyone. You know. And even the rickshaw driver, he sees who you are and where you are in life and where you stand. They can see. <laughs> you know. <laughs> When I started living in Vrindavan, and then、uh, I used to come to here from other places. Then at that time, I talked with Gurudev. Gurudev, today, I did not know. Person, Brajavasi, but we, di- we did a conversation with I. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know.、Oh. And then he, he said to me, <laughs> You know, Brajavasi, <laughs> real Brajavasi could recognize <laughs> they are sad or not sad. <laughs> Yes, they can immediately take they a seat. They immediately、seat. tell. <laughs> And then, if they recognize the sadhu, <laughs> then treat as sadhu. <laughs> if they recognize this is a foreigner, <laughs> then they treat as a foreigner. As foreigner. foreigner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one time I was also <laughs> taking one. Taxi or something, and the driver was also a Brajavasi. And then I get in, he looked at me and he said, Are you balanced? <laughs> and I was saying, Yes, 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 yes. And then after 10 minutes, I was thinking and was. Why is he doing this? Actually, I'm not balanced. He can see immediately what is going on. And like this, he told very naturally, He said, Are you balanced? Really? Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> This is another level of existence, you know, they are much more sensitive because they are not contaminated with all this internet and movie watching and handy. They are like more, the nadis are very much open so they can feel the other person. It's on another level it's happening. Maybe, maybe it's not so much d e p e n d on the channel, it depends on、uh, someone who is inside. <laughs> In the heart, you can feel. It's not Paramatma, no. Paramatma is for, it's for the general soul.、Uh, They're from,、uh, from childhood, worshiping. Family, Kakuji, or close by temple, they're all from childhood. 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 Because you know, he's always chanting Radha's name very with love. I was so impressed. Oh my god, this Rikshawara is, is, is not ordinary. This is very, very advanced. And、uh, he denounced many Rikshawaras, give me more, give me, give me more. You know? But he did not say anything, just to do duty during the week, you know. Is, Is kind of, you know, and then he's chanting Radha's name, you know, kind of some kind of very sweet song. 
Я предложил ему свой поклон. И он сказал, что он и как если бы я был один, я бы не был один. Это было, как будто я бы уже пробудил. Он проснулся в повторении мира. Это amazing. Quello, secondo me, punto è vero, ognuno è a un certo punto della sua progresso spirituale. It is true that everybody is at a certain point of his spiritual process and progress. E solo un'anima realizzata può vedere dove siamo. E only a realized soul can actually see where we are. E ti è che tu non puoi nemmeno fare la parte di questo. Quello che secondo me possiamo fare tutti, però. What I think we, everybody can do. È capire quanto quanto vale questa misericordia che ci dà il guru. Is try to understand. How much valuable is this mercy that the guru is guru is giving? Io sono stato tanto tempo vicino a Guru Deva. I was. E e lui. For many months I was very close to Guru Deva, serving him because the body was. Giorno e notte pensa come aiutare i devoti. And I could see how day and night he always thinks about how to help the devotees. A volte si sveglia a luna le due e telefona qualche devoto. Sometimes he wake up one, two o'clock and calls some devotee. Because he knows that. Ma questo ve lo può dire anche la salita. Yes, so so la salita che sai di. Molto interessante la salita. E poi c'è anche questa storia che abbiamo letto di come si chiamava Ranga Baba. And also that story we read about Ranga Baba, the sense of Raja. Che a un certo punto si è sentito male. That he was feeling very bad. Non ci sto se non ci può. Causa dei discepoli. Due to the due to the behavior of the disciples. E se poi dici secondo me bisogna cercare di sviluppare amore e apprezzamento per il guru. I think one should develop much appreciation and gratefulness for towards the guru. In modo da evitare offese che poi possono ricadere su. In order also to avoid offenses that somehow can can. Have some effect on the health of Guru. So that we can avoid the 
I, I saw once how his effect coming to good of his uh, health. It's not, not due to karma of disciples, but just because he's worrying so much. When we read here, hidden path of devotion from Japanese Zoom, do you remember? We come to the, this part, there was five ingredients of Raganuga Bhakti. And we found some, but here is Sanchari Bhava. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Guru Dev told it's better to stop here, not more read this book. And evening time when I did massage to Guru Dev, just before sleeping, he told, next day, next day, he told, you know, second day I'm sick. I have problems with digestion because so much worrying. After what I found in this book, so many devotees were cheated. Many devotees? So many devotees were cheated. Were cheated? Were cheated? cheated. Yes, cheated. He thought, I, I, so much pain, so much pain. Uh, by what? Yes. Cheated. Yeah. By the book? By, the by book. this type of narration, this type of line of thinking. By the presentation yeah. in the, the book. book. Yeah, the not book, it, before was, it was lectures, it's presentation. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. after book. Yeah. And he was so much worried. He thought, second day, I, my digestion is good because of I'm so, so much worried mm. about this. Mm. Yes, I heard something from Gurudev, but I don't understand what he meant directly that he does not agree with some points of the presentation of Srila Narayan Maharaj. Mm -hmm. so. He did not say public. So, so I also I don't want to public. But, 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 but so, but point is. Gurudev is very fixing to style. But if we, Gurudev, here, so teaching Sanchari Vama, his, his heart is feel pain. And he also told me, most of Guru, Especially outside Buraja. Or even inside Buraja. <laughs> Their teaching is Sanchari Some days ago he told something like this because he said outside of Raja everything is under influence of Yoga Maya and inside of Raja is Mahamaya. No, 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 no. Opposite. Opposite. Uh, opposite. opposite, sorry. No. Outside of Raja is Mahamaya, and inside of Raja is Yoga Maya. Therefore, certain things can only be discussed and understood in Vrindavan. Mm. True. And not outside. No. So, therefore, if we don't come to Vrindavan, stay in Vrindavan, certain things we may not understand. Yes. So, 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 so she wants to share. Um, it's already gone this floor and uh, another question about Sanchari Baba. Uh, maybe it's confused. Uh, actually, uh, only Gurudev's lecture I heard so Sanchari Baba is not to style. <laughs> but in Shastra, another Sampradaya or another Guru Deva says, Sanchari Baba is higher than Stai Baba. Sanchari Baba is higher than Stai Maybe you are senior, so please make clear. Some Shastra says, Sanchari Baba is higher than Stai. What does mean this in case uh, in this point? Actually, actually, the other thing is. Stai Baba is just fixing Baba. It doesn't matter. This is Saki Baba or Manjari Baba 
or, or like a parent food or sucker barber. It doesn't matter. Style barber is one, one barber. <coughs> And then Sanjari barber is like this. Sanjari barber is explained by the Bakira Samhita I forgot the real verse, but the meaning is Samasneha. Means Samasneha means this is a kind of say Samasneha, some of some Saki. Sometimes go to radical, radical side, sometimes go to Krishna. Because Samasneha means, you know, sometimes have to go both ways because equally now. So therefore, generally speaking, according to Rupa Goswami, Samasneha is like kind of Sanch- it's, it's another way to say it's Sancha. So like a Stai Baba is not only Manjari Baba, but also Saki Baba, or also parent food, or you know, or Saka Baba also. What Stai Baba means that you are fixed in one... Yes, fixing one Baba. But generally speaking, Guru Dev said, We, f- we fix Manjari Baba. It's good to be using in that sense, but uh, then uh, speaking, Stai Baba means fixing one Baba. One Baba. Yeah, that's it. According to your natural, attractiveness. Natural, yeah, natural, natural attractiveness. Natural attractiveness. Mm. So therefore, many people say different things. That also, surely saying is also one sense is, you know, one sense made to do. Yeah, because in this Munger Mandir, I'm Sanchari, I want to become one day style, it's okay. But uh, if we uh, talk with uh, another Vaishnavas, oh, I'm just a Sanchari, I want to stay, become one day style. In my case, I'm very young devotee, that's why we don't, it's not, sorry, it's better not to use I'm a style, I'm a it's not good to mention. How do you feel? You know, like, good name has, you know, good has specific, specific word. Good name has Because he's, good name is like a very advanced. Siddha, he can say anything. But, uh, but uh, sometimes we can de- repeat among the, this devotee. But uh, if we go to another Sangha, we have to express in different way. Like I say, if I invite of ISKCON devotee, then I have to adjust for ISKCON way. If, if I was invited in Godia Mata, I have to say in a different way to explain. If I am inviting Saki Baba's group, if in case, and then I have to adjust in that way. Because we don't want to disturb anyone, we yes. want to help. Yes. So sometimes we have to adjust or feel which level I can talk, which topics I can talk. So therefore, my understanding, you know, so my, I think, I don't know, maybe I so proud, maybe, or maybe, you know, but uh, I have to adjust Guru Dev's words in different ways, because Guru Dev is saying in this direction. Mm-hmm. But generally people thinking right away. Like for example, like uh, 
。グルデーブ聖霊がいいの、ガダラズラダシャクティ。グルデーブラダシャクティ。プラウパーでメンションクリシナシャクティ。そう、ウィハフトゥーノー、ボスウェイ。オフコース、アマンズ、アワー、アワーサンガ、イゾケラダシャクティ。バタ、イフウィセトゥー、ディスワード、イン、イスコンディボティ、ゼンコンフューチ。ゼンメクリティサイザー。ビコゼノアンダスタン。And when someone is interested in all these subjects, then he will ask, and then we can tell. But in general, it's better to feel what is the need and what we can talk about, and slowly, slowly, and like this, we can help each other. Also, Guru Dev said in Braja, Sadhu, generally speaking, never talk about Manjari. Never talk. Talk Manjari Baba. Because it's something very intimate. Very intimate. So, therefore, but you know, we are discussing, but the, if we discuss this outside Braja, it's not a very good idea. Yes. It's a very delicate out, out subject of, matter. Out of Raja means out of Raja.、Uh, the word is who is in this world. Yeah. Out of like, you know, maybe our, our very intimate Sangha is okay, maybe. But、uh, if a little bit outside, we should not talk. Because maybe they will be disturbed, disturbed. by this talk. Yes. Yeah, and I, will fe- I feel hurt if I, I did this in the past, and I, always I felt hurt of the words that came because, because、yeah. it was hurting me, because it was. Not kind about my Guru Dev talking or about my family, and I felt hurt. Yeah, because some the negative reaction may come. So, therefore, this is also Guru Dev, also very careful now. Yes. And Guru Dev told also in his room some days ago I know that my devotees are not causing trouble outside. They are always kind and respectful to every other Sangha or Guru, and he knows this that they are not causing trouble. And Guru Dev, in, in, interesting, you know. <coughs> so, we are. Discussing Maha Mantra. Then Guru Dev explained Maha Mantra is like a embracing and you know, different leader. Then, then I talked. Guru Dev, actually, other people chanting Rade Krishna, Rade Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Rade Rade, Rade Shan, Rade Shan, Sam 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 Mm-hmm. And then Guru Dev said, Yeah, they are too high. 
Sie ist zu hoch, wir sind nicht qualifiziert. Das ist nicht so. Diese Art von Explanation. Und die Gurudev ist sehr, sehr nice. Sie ist zu hoch, wir sind so 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 hoch. Wenn der Wort ist, dieses Mantra, das du meinst, ist der Madhurya Swarup. Of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. This is Radha Krishna, Radha Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Radha Radha. Radha Shyam, Radha Shyam, Shyam Shyam, Radha Radha. It's the Madhurya Swarup of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. So, so anyway, you know, Gurudev is saying, do you not know say, we are higher, they are low. Instead of, they are low. Very high, more high, more high. Yes. We are so unqualified. We don't understand. We are not to approach. Like you know, he's saying like this. This is very beautiful saying. All the respect. Yeah. Oh, you are too high. You are so great. We are too low. We don't understand. We are not to. We are not to kind of eligible to. Like with this attitude, you can always remain humble. Yes. And don't make any offense and appreciate yes. also the other lines. Yes, yes. That is safest way. If we say, you know, we are so high, we are most, we are most, we are running, you know, highest one, you know, you are lowest, and then, you know, people become angry, why you are talking, and then argument start. Then argument start, because this is the talk of our ego. Yes. Like Mahamaya is coming to yes. the ego yes. and saying you are so much advanced devotee. Yeah. You have understand the conclusion of the Shastra. Yes, but the, but the if, <laughs> it's very tricky. Yeah, yeah. Very good David, you know, know you know art how yeah, to how to deal, how to talk. And then we, when you can have this attitude then you are not attacked, then you can remain, uh, let's say, you can remain uh, balanced, balanced. Yeah, you don't feel attacked. Yeah, because, uh, you know, we don't want to create any kind of argument yeah. and criticism, you know, criticism. Gurudev told me not to argue. No. And also in my relationship, you know, in my situation, he said, don't argue, don't fight, give love and respect and uh, compassion all the time. The word, then you are not agitated. If you can have this kind of attitude, kind and loving, to every living entity, then you don't become agitated, then you can remain calm too. And the other one will feel that why I am so angry or going in argument, better to stay calm, positive and relaxed. But if I cannot deal with this, is it okay for me to leave the room, for example? <laughs> yes, sometimes sometime I also better to leave the room and then... I need a break. <laughs> ah, we'll just we'll just, yeah. <laughs> you know, Indian culture, <laughs> Indian culture, I don't know now, but they used to have some special room for crying. Yeah, ah. Mangar, it's called Mangar. Oh, wow. Especially some kind of, you know, queen. Yeah. Queen has some problem. Then just without saying anything, go to in this room and then cry. Then after express her feeling, then you know again, again you know, and then come out. Nothing happens. Yeah, yeah. I need this. I also need to go. Yeah. So, I'm sorry. Oh my God. Yeah. Where, where did we stop? <laughs> um, the establishment 
of self-identification with these false designations is the cause of bondage and the renunciation of such self-identifications are the cause of liberation. <coughs> Although the ears hear these teachings hundreds of times, they do not listen. Rather, they run after topics that are unrelated to Krishna. The mind is constantly accepting and rejecting different mundane things. The heart is willingly and knowingly unmoved by all these teachings. The restless human mind will not firmly remember that the only supreme truth is God and the only means to attain Him is devotion. <coughs> this is all because of our Purusha Abhiman that we are hearing these things thousand times, we won't listen and the mind is always deviating because we want to be the master of the universe. <laughs> we cannot surrender, we cannot take shelter because we want to be independent. <coughs> My ears hear, but don't listen. And my heart knows, but does not realize. They cannot become determined. 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 <laughs> and fixed. Here ends verse The senses that dwell in our bodies are so many enemies. Nobody obeys anyone. My ears hear, but don't listen, and my heart knows, but does not realize. They cannot become determined and fixed. If we think I am material body, the sense is disturbed, then we forget who we are. But if we, we never forget who we are, we are rather than see. Then, sense is also can be useful. <laughs> this but actually <coughs> describe how to fix our our mind. Means if we conquer enemy, if we conquer enemy. 
and automatically we are fixed and determined and fixed. Uh, we are fixed and determined Yes, here the material senses are described as enemy because they are bewildering us. So if we are engaging all our senses, the mind included, in devotional service, all the senses and the mind can be spiritualized. So there are no enemy anymore because the mind and the senses are helping me to make progress in my spiritual life if we engage everything in devotional service, in anything that we are doing, internally and externally. If my ear hear and listen and realize it, then we are determined and fixed. <laughs> we hear and listen and know and dialyze them. Our mind, our sense is determined and fixed. That's why we need to listen from self-realized perspective as much as possible. Then we can understand what we should listen, what we should not listen. Yes, because the sadhu can touch the heart. It's not only talking, it's touching the heart so that we can feel what he's feeling or she's feeling. I have interesting experience of this. We visit Mahanit Yuva. And I asked a question about Pranaya. Shirada Pranaya Mahima about this verse. And then Jananda talked about my... What you asked at the story? I asked uh, Mahaniti Baba about what does mean Shri Radha Pranaya Mahima, what this word Pranaya means in the context of this verse. You know Chaitanya Charitamrita. Adirira, the first chapter is, I think, four, four or five, or six, or six but. And then they returned, Jananda told about my question to Shri And And after next morning, Gurdev asked me, what do you ask, Mahaniti Baba? Mm. And I repeated to him my question, explain what I want to know. Mm. And what his answer, it's interesting. He is told, you know, Pranaya is the union of Radha and Krishna in night time. Mm. It's so intimate, so secret. But nobody will tell, nobody will explain to you what does it mean. <laughs> Until you will realize your sorrow. And he told in such a way, but he gave me much more than in words. It was so interesting. He gave some feelings, his feelings towards this, towards Pranaya. <laughs> it's so interesting. He told nobody will tell you, but he is hard telling something more than in words, in secret way. <laughs> because this is very confidential. In the union of Radha and Krishna, in the night time. Very confidential. Therefore, you know, Mahanidhi Baba asked Shikshaguru. You know, he's asking, this prana is meant to prema, generally speaking, or, or dear prana in kind of a specific meaning. Oh. Yes, my question actually was simple, like this, but, like, but I couldn't uh, ask in such a way to be clear. And then Mahanidhi Baba, the Shikshaguri said, Oh, this is Janat talking of Kurema. Mm. Actually, this is both ways correct. <coughs> both is correct. Because it, it depends on our understanding. If 
if some questioner is very neophyte. <laughs> so which you know first Guru Dev saying also to do. If you are very neophyte, they cannot understand. Well, they may misunderstand. <laughs> so therefore, yeah, this is generally speaking of Prema. But if someone who is very advanced, they understand or oh, actually this meant for this Lira, this nighttime Lira in Virapak Sumanjari, oh, this Lira or that Lira. Maybe some devotee may realize it. Then keep quiet. <laughs> That's also possible. Like a good man mentioned. Yeah, good devil used to say, we need a mood. Who is asking and what Kasakama stands? Here is the public or a If we need a proper answer, we need a proper behavior to ask the Guru Dev or then more deep answer will come if we are going to more deep mood, then this mood will more deep answer. Mm-hmm. If we are going to more deep Japan, uh, as Bajan, then one day maybe uh, Guru Dev will give us a, a, another answer. Mm-hmm. Every devotee has made this same experience. If you ask a question to Guru Dev, after some years, Different answer will come. And uh, if we sit there with a senior devotee, ask a question, what the answer will come. This is a message from the senior devotee.